Hello guys, I'm Akash from Random Lockdown and today we're going to be talking about the upcoming movie The Gazi Attack. You may have seen the trailer of the movie which came out a week a week ago. If not, there's a link in the description. Now, coming to the main topic of the video, what is the Gazi? The PNS Gazi was a Pakistani submarine. It was built by America in 1944 and was originally named US Diabolo. Through an exchange program, Pakistan had acquired the submarine on loan from the US in 1964. It was the most advanced submarine of its time and the first in South Asia. Standing at 95 meters long and more than 8 meters wide, it was obviously one of the biggest in its time too. It ran on diesel engines which propelled the submarine and also charged the batteries on board through generators. These batteries were responsible for powering the onboard computers. The submarine could carry 92 men in total during its service in the Pakistani Navy. Now coming to the arms and ammunition, the submarine was loaded with torpedoes, 5-inch deck guns, Bofors 20mm guns, machine guns and more. After being reconfigured with the Pakistani Navy, it would also lay underwater mines which would trigger on touch. The PNS Ghazi was used on many instances against India but the most important incident was its last in the 1971 war everyone knew what happened on ground in jammu and kashmir both pakistan and india lost many soldiers to cross fires but not many people know that the ghazi had been directed all around the indian peninsula and into the bay of bengal for an undercover mission to sink the ins vikrant the biggest aircraft carrier of its time They wanted to get control over East Pakistan which is now known as Bangladesh. They had made their way from Karachi to Visakhapatnam where they had thought the Grand would be. It was only in the March of 1971 that East Pakistan had wanted freedom and wanted to become an independent nation. But Pakistan didn't want that, but India did and it was helping East Pakistan to become Bangladesh. Thus the undercover mission Pakistan didn't let go of East Pakistan that is Bangladesh until the 16th of December 1971 this was after the Ghazi incident now the submarine was on its way to the eastern coast of india but much before that the indian intelligence had got the news of a submarine being sent in an offensive mission to sink vikrant this information was passed on to the captain of the ins vikrant at that time there was a problem with vikrant one of the boilers powering the ship had a crack in it and the ship was not ready for war it needed time to repair now the captain of the vikrant was a very wise person as he took vikrant and hid it somewhere in the andaman islands he then told the captain of ins rajput to go out into the sea near the visakhapatnam shore and create heavy wireless traffic tricking the enemy sub to think it was the vikrant The last thing he did was to pre-order large amounts of ration at Visakhapatnam making it clear to the public that the Vikrant was coming. Now he just wanted to fool the people. So he waited because he knew that the Pakistani spies will pick up the bait and they did. But by the time submarine could reach Visakhapatnam, Vikrant was a thousand miles away. On not being able to find the Vikrant, the captain of the Ghazi got delusional and started planting mines all around the harbor. Now what happened afterwards has two sides. An Indian side proudly declaring that they had sunk the submarine after finding it and a Pakistani side saying that a submarine actually touched one of the mines itself, detonating them and thus sinking the submarine. On further investigation, which ended just a few years ago, the experts found that the submarine had suffered a blast in the front of the submarine. But it was not an outside damage both the indian and the pakistani sides were wrong the divers who went to search for the damage found that the submarine had suffered a blast from the inside out and had most probably been caused by the excess build up of hydrogen gas inside the submarine the gas was produced by the batteries by the engines charging the batteries actually the engines which charged the batteries produced electricity but also produced hydrogen gas as a byproduct which they released into the air of the submarine so hydrogen is highly flammable the blast had occurred in the front part of the submarine after this while sinking the submarine had touched one of the mines thus detonating them but the mines in themselves were not the primary reason for the sinking 
as the submarine sunk, it took with itself all the 92 men on board. The Indian Navy had heard the explosions caused by the mines, so they went to check and found the Pakistani submarine lie in its ruins. So there it was guys. Now you know all there is to know about the Ghazi. The movie is not going by the actual facts completely. They have based the story on the incident, but they are also including fiction, like they have included a top secret mission in the film. They have showed an Indian submarine about which there is no mention anywhere. So either it's actually in a highly classified file, or it really wasn't there, which is the most probable answer. Thank you so much for watching till the very end guys. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. If this video was helpful, don't forget to like it. Also, you can tell, about, tell us about what you think about the movie and this video. If you think you have an interesting topic which we can cover, you can share it to us through the comments on this video or you can also contact us on randomlockdown at the rate gmail.com. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Have a good time.